I'm Dr. Jennifer Lish, and I'm here to talk to you today about postpartum depression and anxiety disorders. These are very common. Of every six women who gives birth, one will have an episode of postpartum depression or anxiety disorder. In fact, it's the most common complication of childbirth in the U.S. today. It's time to suspect a diagnosis of postpartum depression or anxiety disorder if the new mom feels predominantly sad or down or scared, feels overwhelmed and hopeless, like things are never going to get better. Fortunately, there are a number of evidence-based treatments that work for postpartum depression and anxiety disorders. One treatment is cognitive behavior therapy, or CBT. Treatment for postpartum depression with CBT can include troubleshooting with mom and family, how the mom can get more sleep. Sleep is essential to our mental well-being. It can also include assisting the mom and the family in arranging for her to have more support, assistance with household tasks, periods of relief from responsibility for the baby, and time with supportive, friendly, warm family members and friends. It can be as simple as arranging for the mom to be able to take a walk outside every day with a neighbor or one of the grandparents. Postpartum depression is very responsive to what's called behavioral activation, which is a form of CBT in which the therapist helps the mom to schedule pleasurable activities. That might mean going to a mommy and me play group or a baby and parent exercise class, or other fun activities. CBT for postpartum depression also includes what's called cognitive restructuring, which means catching, challenging, and changing certain depressing, anxiety-inducing thoughts that we tend to have. So the important thing to know is that Postpartum depression is common and that it is treatable and that cognitive behavior therapy is one form of effective treatment. Thank you.